sign. I know it's dark, right there is a Budweiser sign. Well, we are just leaving Fargo, North Dakota this morning. I know it's pretty dark, but I figured I'd give it a try and see what it would look like. We have pretty good lighting up here usually in the city, so I figured uh, we'll do an early morning recording. We'll see how that turns out to be. I don't know how this camera will perform and dark, but hey, only one way to find out, right? But here I am, going home. Should be home in about four and a half hours. So that includes uh, crossing the border and drop of the trailer. But uh, yeah, at least it's a nice and quiet morning today. It's not crazy windy like it was yesterday. It's pretty much windy all day long I had to drive against the wind yesterday which really sucked in fuel mileage but yeah well nothing I can do about that but uh, here we are putting the hammer down going home real happy about that be home for the weekend again like that very rare that that happens that I can be home uh, three weekends in a row you know especially as a truck driver as a long haul driver that's very rare to have that happen but I can almost guarantee you next Friday uh, next weekend I will be on the road I'm pretty sure I can feel it but we'll see maybe my luck has turned around we'll see but anyways I'll cut it I'll film more tour, uh, during the day so we'll see you down the road I am just coming up to the border crossing at Amberson Manitoba again so we are close to home from here it's only about an hour and 15 minutes till I get home so that's good be sweet home sweet soon but anyways, I'll be back on the other side. Alrighty, here we are. Welcome to Manitoba. That's the first welcome rest area we got up here. It's not really designed for trucks, but cars can go in there and yeah, I guess get some welcome information. And right away after that, we got the scale, DOT scale. They always want to see you too, especially the American truckers. That's what they usually try to go after, but lately they've been going after our company a little bit too for hazmat material uh, loads I've heard. I've heard a couple of guys that had hazardous material loads uh, and they were doing inspections on them. So uh, I guess uh, you just have to keep an eye on that. Make sure uh, before you cross the border that everything is good, I guess. But anyways you can probably tell right away as soon as you cross into Manitoba the highway is worse than it is in uh, North Dakota but uh, oh well I guess Manitoba doesn't have the money to really have good highways but uh, I mean it's almost all over Canada where we don't have really good highways but anyways it looks pretty cloudy up here today I saw on the internet uh, in Ontario there it's snowing there so Ooh, I'm sure hoping it's not going to snow here today. It's only 5 Celsius right now But it's uh, Getting right around that temperature where it could snow I mean it doesn't mean much colder than this maybe one or two degrees and it could already snow even at this temperature It's possible to snow at this temperature already so But it's gonna come no matter what if we like it or not But uh, anyways See you in a little bit. Well, hello, hello there. It's only me. Just finished dropping my trailer here at the terminal in Steinbach, Manitoba. On my way home, just did my paperwork and got that in real quick so I can get paid. Because today is the cutoff day for our uh, pay uh, period. So I just uh, finished uh, doing all that. So I'll be going home and Hug and kiss the wife. You know, gotta do that, right? Gotta treat them with love and respect, right? And that's what we'll do. But uh, anyways, it's been a good day. 
looking forward for the for the weekend yeah. I just sure hope we don't get any snow let me hurry up here and get through this gate there we go get that through but anyways tomorrow we are uh, planning on having a uh, birthday party for our son he's getting older and older so looking forward to that we'll be having some nice barbecue I'm sure some of you guys are going to love to see that I'm not going to brag or anything like that but I think I'm pretty good with cooking a nice barbecue I have a couple of friends that say the same thing that I'm pretty good so uh, with that we'll uh, we'll go home and then uh, we'll see what the rest of the day will bring us see if we have any more interesting things happening and if we do we'll get it on camera right we'll see you later <laughs>